I love is that with one of our moms, and I see this also with women around the world, mm -hmm. that if you give a woman an opportunity and then she takes it, mm -hmm. you know, she'll often crush it. And then she looks at how she wants to give back. And I saw that with one of the moms that is in our house now, we uh, periodically will do a food packing event mm -hmm. and uh, we send 285,000 meals to Somalia and to Dominican Republic and all different places. And when we're doing these events, we'll invite refugees and we invited our teen moms to come and help. And they did. And one of them had come over and she was really excited. And she said, I have something to tell you that I just want you to know that whenever I graduate, I want to come back later on in life and I want to be the house manager of the house. And it just reminds you that generosity encourage generosity. Mm -hmm. And there's dignity so in good. giving. Yeah. We're yeah. giving them back dignity when they have something to offer, which is huge. But then can't wait to give back. Yes. Right. You know, and yeah. help the next person. Yeah. So what do you hope for the moms that are in our house? You know, what mm. do you hope for them and their futures? If you could just speak to them. Yeah, honestly, I, I want them to know that they have people who care about them. I want them to know that they will always have people on their side but you have to look for it sometimes. It doesn't always feel like it. And so you have to push through and you have to find your community. And with these, with this group of moms, man, they are so smart. They don't necessarily think that they are. And so being able to impart that, like put more potential on them than they have for themselves. I think that's super exciting. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I just, we, I want them to dream big. Mm -hmm. I want them to dream big. I want them to see themselves graduating from college and starting a career, um, I don't want them to get bogged down by toxic relationships. I want them to be free of that and mm -hmm. and know that that there are people out there that really do want the best for them. And sometimes it takes a minute to find that. But man, when you find that person, you link arms with them and then you find somebody else and you link arms with them and then you're stronger and you just keep linking arms with people. So I just, I, my hope is that they would not push people away, but they would just continue to attract healthy people. Don't we the all need magnet that? For yes. that? Just yes. people in our lives that Absolutely. see what we're capable of being yeah. and see that for us and push them towards that direction. Susie, That's what do good. you hope for, mm -hmm. for all the moms that walk through the boutique? What do you hope as they leave? What, what would be the feeling that you'd want them to, to know? I, I hope that I always in some way imitate Jesus, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that I give them a little bit of Jesus along the way, mm -hmm. um, that they would, you know, like I said before, but my biggest things whenever I do the boutique on Thursday mornings, I'm like, I want each one of them to feel very seen, like God sees them mm -hmm. and that God loves them. And although life isn't perfect, that they can come and feel love, seen and known. And that's always my hope that they will leave a little bit stronger a little bit more loved and a little bit more cherished than when they walked in 30 minutes earlier. I love that. Mm -hmm. I think one of the most beautiful things I have witnessed this year is just women loving and supporting other women. Mm -hmm. And the world today is very fast paced. It's pretty cutthroat. Yeah. There isn't, uh, we're not over flowing with grace and love right. and wanting the best for each other and championing either, each other, even if it's not, you know, people that have similar interests, you don't really see that. But I have seen that mm -hmm. uh, at the Love Does Home. I've seen that at the Love Does Boutique. I've seen that at life skills classes mm -hmm. where you have women that are absolutely sold out for other women. And it's really been beautiful. And mm -hmm. that has been a testament to how you all have led through mm -hmm. that and your hearts. Mm -hmm. And I'm forever grateful for that. And I'm also forever grateful for the the love does community that has come beside us. And I agree. I don't that. say it enough, but it, as grateful as we are for those that have come beside, we need more. We do. And it we just do. makes it better yeah. mm -hmm. uh, to have more people involved and to have more people mm -hmm. uh, jumping in. So how can people get involved? What is a What's a way that they can get involved? I mean, honestly, I think one thing I want to encourage men, women, whoever, we have some of our awesome donors that we get from our Amazon wish list are men. Mm -hmm. And so if God has put this on your heart, man, woman, child, whatever, I just think it's important just to go into the Amazon wish list. We always, I mean, literally our, our boutique is, is donation based. Mm -hmm. And so if we get 10 blankets in, 
those 10 blankets are going out and someone's mm-hmm. going to sleep warm that night. And so I would say the Amazon wish list for, for me. And I would also say, um, uh, not besides that, but you can also, I mean, volunteer your time. Yeah. Yeah. 